While this may look like a run-of-the-mill, or should I say run-by-the-mill Volvo XC40, it's actually not. This is the XC40 Recharge, and it's all electric. For the next couple of minutes, we're just going to talk about the new powertrain. So if you're looking for a full review of the excellent combustion engine XC40, then check out our full review here. So this electric XC40 actually rides on the same platform as the gas-powered Baby Ute, but that's because they originally designed it to be able to accommodate an EV powertrain. So engine options out, two motors and a battery in. The results on this engine to motor swap are tangible. Acceleration times are quick. Zero to 60 takes about 4.7 seconds. That's not a lot of time for a small hauler like this one. So for that time, you can thank the recharge's power. 402 horsepower, which of course, because this is electric, is instant. That's so quick. The second bonus is the way that substantial power is put down by all four wheels. So with the gas-powered XC40, even with all-wheel drive, there was a tendency for a little tire spin at the beginning, maybe a little bit of torque steer, but with the recharge, woof, you really get none of that. I mean, it puts power down where you want it really nicely. The XC40 recharge's balance doesn't feel thrown off for the new motor configuration. It gets real life one pedal braking that you can disable if you prefer, which I actually do. And cargo space hasn't been greatly compromised either. Hey look, there's a little frunk. There are a couple of things that might make you blanch. The first is the price. So there is quite a premium for the XC40 Recharge. It's about $55,000 for the base model. Good thing you're not paying for gas. The other drawback is its range, in that it's only got 208 miles of it from a 75 kilowatt battery. Back to the plus column for Google users, both the gauge cluster and 9-inch infotainment screen now take orders from Android Automotive, which syncs contacts, calendars, and addresses for easy navigation integration. So like a Tesla, there is no actual stop-start button. All you have to do is get in the car, put it into drive, and go. Overall, color us intrigued by Volvo's march into the subcompact crossover future. At KBB, we're already huge fans of the XC40. We named it a Best Buy in the subcompact luxury category for 2019. And we also happen to think that the XC40 recharge is going to generate a lot of buzz too. Get it? Buzz? Because that's what the motor sounds like. <laughs>